Hello, this is Jeanette Vilda. Um, today I'm sharing a design team project for Louise Heinzel. She uses her Christmas Eve ephemera pack and the journal pack. Um, beautiful, beautiful kit. Really loved making this. Um, so much so that it only took me like a day. <laughs> Sometimes when something just really inspires you, it's really easy to just um, put something together. Um, I also followed a tutorial that um, shows you, it comes with templates and shows you how to make this. It's a mini album slash junk journal. So um, you'll see what I mean when I get into it. But um, the tutorial had, and the templates have um, the template for like the spine and the um, the front and the back covers and the pages and there's a couple of pages in there that are also um, using the templates so I'll show you that when we get into it. Um, so let's look at the cover. What I did was so it, as you can see this is a horizontal um, book and what I did was I printed the pages, the design pages, um, two to a page, which shrunk them down. Um, and then also with most of the ephemera, I kind of, I think I printed them both um, their normal size. So printed on, you know, the sheet as they would be if you just printed them normally. And then I also printed them to to a page, which shrunk them down. And um, as you can see, so this is the full design page. So if you printed this on a normal, um, I use the A4 set, because I have A4 paper. If you printed this on normal A4 paper, or sorry, printed it normally, you would have your full size journal page and then you would fold it in half. So this is the two sides of the page. Um, and so throughout, you can see that I've, I've often used the whole page as if, you know, otherwise sometimes I would cut and take pieces out of it. So I had a lot of fun. I always love to look at things and see if there's a different way that I can use it. So for instance, this um, page, I think, works really nicely as a label, if you will, for your cover. So you could write in, you know, this is Christmas, whatever year. Um, here is a piece of, I don't know what you call this, ribbon, trim, something. Um, it's velvet. Got little um, reindeer and Christmas trees and stars, so I thought that looked really cute. Um, the spine is covered with some um, velvet, and this is vintage, if you will. Um, it's from, I believe, like the, somewhere the person wasn't, didn't give me exact things on each of the individual pieces of fabric. So somewhere between the 1950s and like early 70s. So, you know, vintage. Um, I'll show the back real quick. It's plain. I don't like to put too much or anything really on the backs of my books um, just because, you know, you're going to sit it. And, 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 um, so, and I also don't like to put too many um, things that stick out on the cover because in case you're going to slide it in and out of a uh, thing. Yes, very good, Jeanette. <laughs> okay, so the fun, 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 fun part that I had in making this is the spine. And as you can see, I'm trying to figure out how to show this. I used beads. So this is a traditional, um, I think I've used, let me see, one, two, three, Three, yeah, three whole pamphlet stitch, or is it five whole? No, three whole pamphlet stitch. Uh, five or three, I don't remember. But in between, I added, or not in between, but as I was stitching on, I added beads just for some bling, because what's Christmas without a little bling? Um, if by any chance you um, want to see tutorial for this, I am going to do another uh, book here in a bit using the the same technique of adding in the beads. So I'll go ahead and videotape it while I do it. Um, not sure how that'll turn out, but I'll give it a try. So 
um, in case you want to know. It's really, really simple. It's just as you bring the stitch through, add on the beads, and then keep stitching. So really simple, but it makes it look real pretty, I think. So, all right, going inside. So uh, I'll have to do this side, one page at a time here. So like I said, this is a one of the design pages um, printed out. Uh, and then, you know, instead of, like I said, instead of folding, you get the whole thing. This kit comes with, the, the ephemera kit comes with um, little tags that act as, if you, for instance, you wanted to have a December daily, um, there's a tag for um, 1 to 25. So you can use those tags as a December daily. I did not necessarily set this book up as a December daily. I did use quite a bit of these tags. So you could use it as that, but I didn't necessarily set it up in that way. Um, I just love the little tags. So this one I used as a tuck spot for another of her tags. So there's a set of these little uh, definition tags that are really cute. Oh, and throughout, so the, um, I used only the stuff from her kit, and but I did add in um, some die cuts. So this is just using some glitter paper. Um, so I have some die cuts and I think some stickers and various little things from my stash. But everything, all the ephemera, all the little pieces are from this kit. And this one I kept plain so we can add pictures, little doodads. Um, and this is the first of one of the template pieces. Um, for the pages, so opening this up. Um, the template for the book has, um, or you can get these other templates that can, that fit perfectly into the book, comes um, with the template for the pocket and all that stuff. And it also has to look for this little folder. And in the folder, you got this little pocket for a little card. And this is all using the design pages. And I didn't do anything to the inside. So this is a design page, and I just printed out, uh, this one I printed out full size, and then just used the template to cut that out. And as you can see, so this tag I printed full size, so basically on the full um, A4. And this one and these little guys, I printed, you know, the two to the, to the page. So you can get an idea of how I, I did this. Um, you can, it makes it almost look like they're, you know, two different things, but um, just by printing them different sizes, you get a lot of versatility out of um, one little thing. You can um, use it in many different ways. So here I just used a little tag and a couple of the little sayings. So all of this is in the kit. This is a uh, page from a music book. It's, uh, I, what was the year on that? Uh, 19, oh, something or other. <laughs> Early 1900s, let's put it that way. And again, a little die cut. And I, the, okay, the other pages I used in the book, so beside, um, since I used the design pages, as more of a, a decoration to add to the pages rather than the pages of the book itself. So um, the pages of the book, as you can see here, are this is just plain um, cardstock, um, some uh, music pages. And this is just some um, paper that I had in my stash, and I believe there's some also some um, of this brown craft paper or so. This is one of the design pages, again, printed on two to the page, and I just cut it out as if it was like, you know, a little stamp or something, and made it into a little pocket for some, there's a sheet of these wonderful little Santa tags, and then these little angel tags, and I understand that the little angel was actually drawn by Louise. So this isn't, you know, clip art from somewhere. This was hand drawn. So cute, cute, cute. 
um, and the other side is just left blank. And I used a lot of stenciling, so um, just plain paper, but a little reindeer stencil on that. And I loved using some washi tape. So like I said, bling bling. I'm not usually a bling person. I don't use a whole bunch of glitter and whatnot, but this is really called for it. <sighs> this is another one of the templates that you can use. Um, I decorated it. Um, some more stenciling and then inside you have two sides here with pockets and one of these gorgeous little tags in the kit. A little stenciling and then um, some, this is actually taken from I think one of the pockets and I cut those out but there's also a lot of um, little ephemera pieces that you can use. The kit comes with a lot of little pockets, they're so adorable. And here again is a full size tag and one of the little ephemera, um, sorry, the journal cards printed at half size. So make cute little guys to go into the pocket. And this is the other tag. So adorable. And again, I just stenciled on the back of this. Um, so we'll get the litter washi peep. And on the other side is some more. Going back and forth here, <laughs> some more stenciling. Um, these are just um, glued down, but another one of the wonderful little um, definition tags and a little label from my stash to, well, <laughs> label. Well said, <laughs> get this in blank. Um, and this is just um, some of the plain um, cardstock that I've used throughout the book. Um, just Cut the little edges and little stenciling. Um, I won't show that page. It's, there's nothing on that one, so I won't go back and forth when there's nothing there. How about that? Um, here is another of the wonderful little tags, the day tags. Um, there's a whole page of really great little uh, um, quotes and words circles, squares, you name it. Great little um, set of things you can use. One of the little journal cards. This one's printed full size. And another of the definition tags. This one's a candle. Okay, and on this side, some little ephemera pieces. Love this. And one of the tags. And again, this is one of the design pages. So you would fold it there. And some another one of the little quote, warm winter wishes. And the ephemera kit comes with these little guys that you can cut out, cute little buttons. Okay, and it's another little pocket. Um, like I said, there's a whole bunch of these wonderful Santa tags. This one is printed at the half size and just some little die cuts from glitter paper and the uh, ho ho ho. Um, this tag um, is a template, comes with the templates. Um, I used, there's, <coughs> excuse me, some belly bands that you can use and I used it here as a pocket on this tag and inside again is another one of the little day tags and I just did some stenciling on that. Uh, this paper, nothing on it. And then some more just blank pages. Plenty of room to write, add pictures, to your art's content. A little stenciling. Another little die cut. Maybe, maybe if I zoom out just a little bit. There. There we go. No, 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 no. I have to go back and forth so much. A stenciling. And here I stenciled down the middle with some glitter tape. Another one of the day tags. And here is um, a journal card. This one is printed at half size. And then the definition tags. 
And these pages um, actually come from my card making and paper craft magazine. So in the middle of the magazine, you get um, free pages, papers. So I used a lot of those in this. Some glitter tape. Oops. Another stenciling of the deer. And here's one of the journal cards, but this one made into a little pocket for another of those great Santa tags. And here's another of the, this is again, the template is in the tutorial. And this just love these, with the hand drawn, the little birdies and these angels are just gorgeous. Love it, love it, love it. Little birdies. Winter wishes. Um, and like I said, in my stash, I had some stickers and different bling. So this is just a sticker from my stash. I think I got that from the local drugstore. <laughs> and another of the journal pages. I love this one. It's um, Mary and Joseph, the nativity scene. So the three wise men, I just love it. So cute. Over here we have uh, the pocket, and I think I mentioned the page before. So this is where I got those little um, slices. So I cut these out. So I had it printed half size as well, but instead of use, I just used it to grab some more of these little slices. And this is uh, one of the design pages, and I just cut it in half, made it a little general card. Um, all I want for Christmas is snow. Not me. Hate snow, but I'll go with it. <laughs> and here's another one of those tags. This time, so this is actually, um, I printed the design paper. Like I said, some of them are printed full size, mostly to use as backgrounds and like this. So this, as you can see, is from the, the page that I used from the front of the, the, on the cover and just use it as a belly band for another one of the day tags. This is actually from a long piece of trim, and I just cut out the stars, the little puffy stars. Put a little faster here. Just one of the tags, and these are just some, um, I have a little stamp die cut thing, so or a punch from one of the design papers. And just another one of the little templates. I just, this is actually from, I believe, one of the design papers. And I just punched out this circle from it. And inside here, um, I have this little doodad and one of the ephemera pieces. It's in there. And then this opens again. And the two sides are just some stenciled, so you have plenty of room. And then inside of here are two of the journal cards printed at full size. And again, this is from one of the design papers, printed at full size and used it. Like I said, does some background paper and elements. And just cut out plus cut up one of those cute little angels. So let's see. Go a little faster. One of the little tags, 22. Another of the little tags you've seen. This is um, one of the design pages. Just cut and then um, made it, rounded the corners with a little die cut. All the tags are blank on the other side. And here's one of the design pages and just some glitter punches. And this is a little wooden um, chipboard piece. Again, I got that at the local drugstore. So cute little um, ephemera pieces from your drugstore. Nice and cheap, but so cute. Um, little journal card. What does that say? Winter Wonderland. It's hard to read that upside down. Looks like it. Um, this one I actually put in as a little pocket so you can add something in there. Um, the ephemera also has these great little um, vintage pictures. So cute. And one of the little Santa tags. Some more stenciling. Um, this is from, I believe, this is one of the Santa tags. And I just fussy cutted um, out the Santa part to make a little pocket. And this is, again, one of the design pages. I just used it like it's a little journal card. 
another one of the day pages with a little label. And then this is again one of the design pages here. I cut it in half and then used this side as a little pocket for another half of a design page made into a little journal card. And then the other side cut an angle to make a, another pocket for one of the definition tags. Here, um, these are those vintage pages, pictures. Sorry, my cats are having fun. Um, I'm going to just pause while she does whatever it is. Okay. Sorry, one of my cats is having a, one of those berserk mornings, you know, where she goes berserk. Um, so if you hear things in the back, it's because she's doing her little rampage. Okay, so these are those little vintage pictures. And again, printed at um, two different pages um, to a page. So I shrunk them down and then I just used them as a little tuck for... This is one of the design pages printed at full size, made into a little journal card. Or actually, no, that's the page printed at half size, made into a journal card. And this is an element taken from one of the pages. For I used uh, one of the word things, this nice little journal card, and one of the day tags. Another the gorgeous little pockets. And again, um, I like, like I said, print them at all kinds of sizes and then I can cut out the little elements. And sorry about my rampaging kitty in the back. <laughs> if you can hear it. A little angel card and one of the day tags. And here's one of the ephemera pieces. This is printed at full size to use as a pocket for one of the Santa tags. And here's another one of the pockets, and in there, um, this is one of the um, pages, this is the half size, and then I just added a little page on the top to make it um, a two-sided journal so you can add more there. And again, this is one of the pages printed up full size to make a little pocket. Stenciling. Um little vintage picture and one of the tags for a tag. And again, this is one of the design pages I just fussy cut out to make it into a little pocket for one of the vintage images. And then inside again is the two pocket. This time I used one of the pages. This is printed at full size for the two, two of the angel cards. Just love these. As you can see, I use those quite a bit throughout. <laughs> And this is the belly band um, from that I used um, the tag before, but this time printed at half size. And again, it's a little pocket for one of the definition tags. One of the little tags. And again, I have this uh, trim that I had in the red and also have it in silver. I just took out the little stars from the trim journal card and the day tag is the other side with another pocket and another of those little folders. This is a side of one of the pages made into a little pocket for a couple of the tags. And again, one of the, um, this is the back cover. So, um, Another of the pages with the day tag made into a little pocket again for another of the tags. So that is my book. I hope you enjoyed that. I loved making this. Um, just such a versatile kit. I really highly recommend you take a look at this kit. Um, there's just so many things you can do with it. And hopefully this gave you some ideas. Um, for how to use the different pieces and don't just you know look at it and see a tag and think oh it has to be a tag a tag can be a pocket it can be a page it can be a journal card again <laughs> you can fussy cut the images out of it and use those as um, little uh addition excuse me <clears throat> i got some serious tickle going on in the throat 
some little pieces, you know, throughout the book. So very versatile kit. Hope you enjoyed and I will see you again. Bye-bye.